That should be good. And let's keep going. The steam ladder will revolutionize going up fast. So let's go up fast. There's something over here for me to destroy first, though. Fantastic. Sir Laurent. I mean, the top of the orange. Can I look at this? No, they're not gonna let me look. Oh, are you my nemesis? Nemesi? Nemesis? Maybe it's Nemesis. I think it's Nemesis. Yeah, it's Nemesis. Really? Yes, really. And not Nemesis? Tycho winces. I'm really very happy to meet you. Let's try to make the most of the time we have. The time we have? Do you have somewhere you need to be? No, no. I merely meant that once I kill you and all your friends, conversations may become difficult. That's all. I apologize for any confusion. Got any big plans cooking? Oh, certainly. Today, new Arcadia. Tomorrow, the county. Hold on a second. Did you say country or county? Th that doesn't work when I say it out loud, does it? <laughs> Did I yell? I'm sorry, I just get so excited. I said county. Why do you ask? You did all this to take over one town? You did all this shit to take over like one town? You wrecked my house. You're still angry about that? I said I was sorry. I wrote a nice letter and everything. Honestly, what isn't even a great house? Uh, I love your killing machine. I really love your monstrous killing machine. Do you really? Thank you so much. I'm very proud of it. It's an original design I built myself. Really? You know, it's... N you, you mean it's not a blueprint you stole from renowned... Renowned? Renowned roboticist Dr. Jonathan Kraswar? <laughs> Fabricated by a throng of hobo slaves? Powered by an evil tome? Called the Necrowoomicon that you stole from a cult of mimes? A device which is even now host to the terrible god of gears? Oh, well, I had collaborators, certainly. No man is an island, and so forth. Yog Kathak is at the reins of your mind, sir. You do his bidding. No, this is my bidding that I am doing right now. I bid constantly. <laughs> Dr. Mordo von Mundo coughs nervously into the loudspeaker. Yeah, we're kind of in a hurry here. Hey, it's been great, but I need to wreck your evil machine and restore order. You know, if that's cool. Oh, gumdrops. Oh, song. Oh, sweetness. Oh, splendor. I've always wanted to have an epic showdown with a band of doomed heroes. Every villain's dream, really. I'm very excited. There is a grumble inside the machine, a vast hunger deep as a well. And it is final boss time. He really goes first. This guy's fucking nuts. Hank, how dare he go first? Go, monkey! <laughs> I start using things. I have so many items. We might as well use them. Should have gone for speed first. Honestly, thought I did. There's a different blue. A different blue entirely. There we go. Speed up and defense up. Late on that. Wait, that gets rid of my speed? Damn it, items don't stack in this. I've never used items enough to know. All right, 
right, let's start going for attacks here. Oh, great, that did practically nothing. We will, God, this guy's got a lot of help. Let's go ahead and start healing here. Alright, let's start going for some good stuff. I got it the first time and I haven't gotten it since. He's weak versus special attacks. That's the secret. Alright. You want me to use this kind of stuff? Come on, dear. Still not nearly as much as I would like. Oh, that would. Oh, it doesn't stun him? Early, I think. Alright, we will not go for the statuses then. We'll just go for the best stuff we got. That's not nearly as much damage as I would like. Seriously. Messed it up. All right, Tycho, you were here to save the day. I need to heal you, though. Seriously. All of a sudden, I can't do the special attacks anymore? What the hell's going on? I blame the mouse beating in the way. That's the issue. And that's the only issue, clearly. Gosh, it's like we're not doing anything here. Maybe they give me a hint with the white Christmas? Is he weak to dynamite and white Christmas? I'm gonna assume this is the final boss and I'm gonna use all my items if you haven't been able to tell so far. Go white Christmas. It goes before the monkey? It does exactly 1200. Yeah, the monkey is not as good as I was hoping. Bedroom eyes again. Yeah, early. Early. Let's heal everybody. We'll keep doing what we can. This guy looks insanely difficult though. He's got so much HP. There's got to be some trick here. Maybe it's uh, just the regular dynamite? Nope. It's still early. Now let's try this again. Seriously. Like, I haven't messed it up once off screen today. But I get on here. I'm just messing it up up and down. Uh, let's use some debuffs on him. Seriously. couldn't pull it off. Oh, and it's time for boss time. Oh, I, I'm on a little bit. It's fucking nutritious. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Go with Dora Bob. She needs to inflict more damage with each hit. Tree top. Right, I got the partial block. But I got the block that time. We're still losing this. This is whole, this is all new to me. Final hug? That, that didn't do shit. She t 
took too many turns. He repaired the dead. I'm so confused. What the hell is going on here? Got a door of bombs. That hits so much. She needs to inflict more damage with each hit. I need to do more damage this time with that! Final hug? That, that didn't do shit. Really getting clear slow mode or mode mordo down. Now let's go for tough love. Back sequence reset. Damn it, she took too many turns. I'm just so confused by what it is that I need to do here. was too fast she couldn't pull it off. Is it a certain combo? Is it a certain combo here? Do I need to start with final hug? Because that barely does anything. Really need to slow them down. Okay, then we go for this. She took too many turns, but I go for that. Okay, go for the, the highest level one. Which slows him down. Right, so then we can do this one. There's power, powering up or some shit. And then we can go for the middle one. I do bombs! When two gods wait on the windowsill, the wick of the world is burning still. But when one god in trial shouts, the candle of the world goes out. It's on now! You have unlocked an insane mode, a truly haunting new difficulty level. Find it in the main menu beneath new game. So we have beaten the game! That was awkward. I didn't make it any better by not figuring out, like, oh, it's a combo now? But we did it! We beat On the Range Lick Precipice of Darkness, episode two. Congratulations, you've completed this episode. Select load game from the main menu to visit the detective agency and review the results of the, this playthrough of the game. To how many others has this grinning, profane tome whispered its heresies? I must not be lured by its... I must not. But how can mortal man stand against... Yes, that's... that's it. I must become immortal. In Underhell, only the damned survive. Perhaps I need its damnation to be the man to the thing I must become. Hestia. And that's the game. The Arcade Adventures on the Range of the Precipice of Darkness Episode 2 has been completed. I will be going back and uh, showing off a little bit of insane mode. Uh, I'll try to get all the collectibles, uh, not only the chests. Really? This is like a full-on song. 
Uh, I'll be trying to get all the chests, I'll be trying to get all the collectibles that I missed, showing off where they are. Uh, we'll try to make it uh, a little bit more complete since I was going through this blind and honestly did not know what I was getting myself into. But uh, let's talk about the game for a bit here. Uh, I do love the humor in this game. The humor is the highlight of this game. And it's a little weird to me because it seems to be not necessarily a parody, but it's it clearly doesn't consider itself a full-on RPG, even though it uses RPG-like things. Uh, therefore, things like your items prove to be quite useful, which is not necessarily something that happens in RPGs, but uh, hey, Ron Gilbert was in on this one. That's a name I recognize. You can tell sometimes from the human name, but ultimately, I think it was a great sequel to the first game. I do like the revamped battle system. Uh, well, not necessarily revamped, but they changed the specials a little bit, and I do appreciate that. Uh, the only thing is that final boss fight is what threw me off. Um, the hardest fight in the game turned out to be the robot at the symposium, which is a little weird. The final boss fight was just, can you figure out comboing time? And once I figured out that that's what they were going for, it just took a couple times through to, to figure out what it was to actually get that done. Hey, Imaginary Friends, they helped out. I'm not sure if that's a company name or if they're actually Ima Imaginary Friends that they're thinking here, but either way, I think it's a good game. I, I think it's a good game even if you take away the humor, I think the humor is still the standout of it. I like the comic book style of it, uh, but the, the controls on it are still a little weird uh, and don't necessarily always work out the way that I had uh, intended them to work when I press the button. Uh, especially when it comes to selecting enemies and uh, selecting things in time. It doesn't always work the way that I want, but uh, it's easy to overlook those things for uh, things like the humor. Uh, I'm not always a fan of the episode style of it. These things are quite short overall. Is that guy's name Manish? Uh, um, they're short. I'm not a big fan of that style of, uh, you know, having multiple games that you have to purchase uh, so that you can complete the one story. Uh, I do a few, I've done a few of those games, uh, but you know, usually they're a little bit longer than this. Uh, the only exception being the Telltale, which I believe you can only purchase all at once, that kind of stuff. Uh, but this one, you definitely purchase them separately. And as a result, I'm not that big of a fan because of how short they are, just that style. Uh, I will say that I have looked ahead to episode 3, and unfortunately it takes a very different style uh, starting in episode 3. I'm not saying it's necessarily worse, but such a big style change is definitely something that uh, I'm not a fan of. But the, the company that made this game uh, decided to work on Death Spank instead of continuing this series. They had to get another developer. And the other developer went for a completely different style. Uh, but we will get there when we get there. Like I said, we will be doing bonus videos so that I can try to show off the same a little bit. Uh, we'll probably just be doing boss fights and a couple of collectibles like out of the chests and showing off where all of the uh, concept art and music is. And we will continue forward, but for the time being that is going to do it for this let's play of on the rain slick precipice of darkness episode two i've been baller scuba i have not done everything that uh i wanted to do but we will do that next time in the bonus videos hope you guys have enjoyed this let's play hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching